Hello guys, welcome to this ninth episode of the Built a Web API in the in the ASP.NET Core 3.1 and consume it using an MVC client also in ASP.NET Core. I shall be uploading one video every day from Monday to Friday for viewing the completed application in action with a few of the functionalities. Please watch the introduction video in part one, which is in the link. The link is in the description. In my previous episode, I walked through the creation of the iOrder repository interface as I am following the repository pattern for this project. In this episode, I shall edit the appsettings.json file to include the connection string for the database. In this series of tutorials, all the episodes will be in continuation from the previous ones and so is the building of the code base. Hence, it is highly recommended to be up to date with all the previous episodes before viewing this one. The essential links and the SQL scripts you'll find in the video description. I will also request you to view the entire video in all these episodes to get the best out of them. As always, every suggestion and feedback are welcome and please subscribe and share this channel and click the bell notification icon to get the latest in the uploads. Now that the database is over and done with, and we have studied the database structure and the stored procedure and the tables, that it is the time now to connect to the database through a connection string, which we will be setting in the app settings.json file. So by the end of this lecture, we shall include the database connection string with the app settings.json file. Okay, so let's switch over to Visual Studio now. So once again, within the Visual Studio, I have opened the open the app settings.json file which is at the root level of this project and we have got the app settings.development.json but which will we can keep unchanged and this is this app settings.json that we will be changing so all you need to do is to put a connection string which i have got on my clipboard okay so this is the connection string and um, this is under this top level root level and the default connection is data source is my server desktop this is the name of my computer backslash backslash sql express this is the uh, i mean the sql server basically which is what this was this was the uh, sql server which is the server and initial catalog is the database which is web api db okay so this was the again the database web api db under this sql server and then integrated security true and trust server certificate false these actually belong to the windows authentication and application intent read write and multi submit failover false don't worry about these terms these are not actually in the scope but sufficient to say that this is the default connection string so in this lecture, we have seen how to form the connection string within the app settings.json. So we'll be using this connection string. Uh, 